you need to fail, diba, in order for you to succeed. And I quit my um, my full-time job mm-hmm. to pursue the business, mm-hmm. which is actually two weeks before the pandemic. I was born and raised in Olongapa City. And growing up, one of the most memorable experiences I had was with my mom and my, my nana and my lola. They, they always loved to cook. And I guess that's so common in Filipino household, like every, everyone loves to cook. So I didn't really get hands-on training at that young age, but it's more of like I observe them, I watch them, how they you know, they cook different dishes. When I was incoming junior high school, we moved to Quezon City. So that's where I continued my, my school. My mom always, um, she always loves to cook. That's when she started her food business. She was just selling different chicheria, and then she was cooking um, goto, um, arroz caldo. Because like at the back, that's where the bus, school bus driver parks. Oh. So you know, yeah. Okay. I was exposed to, um, you know, the hustle and being an entrepreneur, you know. So I graduated 2000. I actually finished mass communication. And then in 2002, that's when I actually migrated to the US. I guess that was, um, you know, we all know about the American dream, Daba. Right? So, you know, looking for other opportunities. And I thought it will be, um, like everything will, go according to plan but you know I got married at 22 and then that didn't work out I got divorced and then I got involved with another guy and that's the reason why I became a single mom so there was a lot of um, failures and it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing because you need to fail right? in order for you to succeed that's how I see it. I love to watch Food Network and I was just amazed with, you know, whatever I can see on TV, right? So in 2008, I signed up for a three-day baking workshop. I, I realized, okay, I guess I can do this. I started my business while I was working full-time. I worked for the state for 14 years. And then February 2020, that was when I quit my um, my full-time job mm-hmm. to pursue the business full-time, mm-hmm. which is actually two weeks before the pandemic. So now from, from then on, from March to what, June, I didn't have any business. Mm-hmm. So, one time I was just uh, walking around our local farmer's market and then, you know, I just had this idea, wait, what What if I, I sell my products here? So, you know, I applied and then they liked the concept, you know, so the business started to pick up July. And at that time, I cannot do it on my own. So I had to hire part-time help. And yeah, so I started with one. Now I have three part times, you know, like who's helping me with the production. Yung Condesa, yung yung tawag sa akin na husband ko. Condesa, Countess. <laughs> and then I just added sweet for desserts, diba? We want to showcase our own and it's nice like we have to represent our own flavors me i grew up in the philippines i, I want to introduce these flavors in a way that people will um you know will, will willing to try it i make a say like two bite size desserts because it's specifically for events and then you know bars and then of course i make wedding cakes as well I remarried in 2014. It's still busy. Like, especially because um, my husband works from home, and then 
the kids are doing virtual schooling, diba? Pero, yeah, it's it's just um, trying to find the balance. One of the tips I can give, siguro, is they have to find their own a brand identity. If you want to create something unique that will stand out, in that way, people will actually remember you. If you want to pursue something, then just do it. Don't be discouraged if something didn't work out. Just continue what you're doing and just be determined on whatever you do. This is Melody Lorenzo, isang entrepreneur abroad in California.